I have plans, but God has other plans for me. I am ready to go back. I'm ready to be with my family. I'm ready to have some kids. Oh, Mr. Royden, chop it up. What's going on with the 601s? I know I'm not the only one. That's why I say we. There's a whole community of 601s that we're waiting. So we're waiting for approvals. We're just waiting. Hi guys. We are back with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I bake and set my face so my makeup will last all day long. We don't have to touch it up. We don't. Okay, so if you guys are interested in watching, stay tuned. I pretty much have all my makeup on. I did stock up on these because on one, and that's like a risk because I'm gonna be using the same powder little puff. Okay, and then our skin breaks out. So we try to avoid that. So it's time to restock up on these. So we need one of these. We're gonna be using this one today. Okay, and I am going to go in with my banana setting powder, and I'm also going to go ahead and be using my MAC Fix Studio Powder. This is an MC40. I am going to go ahead and go in with my Studio Fix powder first, and I am going to go under my eyes. And I go into my nose like I press the powder into my nose. I do wear glasses, so I tend to kind of sweat right there. And then we're going to go ahead and put some in our forehead. Just in the middle. And then also the chin. And tap it in so I can get into the skin, especially right here on my nose. And it also brightens up. So the areas that I just want to brighten up is obviously my forehead, a little bit on the chin, and then my under eyes and my nose to clean it all up. Okay. So after that, we're going to go into our Beauty Creations Banana Setting Powder. And I'm not taking it way up in my under eye because I do tend to crease a lot with powders. Do the same thing on this eye. And just a tiny bit. We're gonna clean up our contour. So this is what we have right now. We're gonna make one of these. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so I'm going to let it for about five minutes. I do five minutes the most. I mean, sometimes we just cut it to three minutes. Like, we don't really have to do the whole thing. We're going to just kind of press it in. Like, you press and you dust. You know what I mean? And then here we don't want a line, so we're just going to go press it, kind of blend it in, so we can get rid of that line. Okay, so now that we did that, I'm really liking how my under eyes are looking. Like they're kind of they're soft, but they didn't like crease too much. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set our face. 
Okay, so I set my face with literally organic rose water. Like, there's no other thing. I went to the Naturalista store and I got myself a gallon of rose water. And that's what I used to set my face. I love it. It's amazing. And you really, it's really affordable for me. I don't have to go in and on and spend like $20 on a setting spray. I mean, at least now, okay? So right now I'm working at work. <laughs> And it is with my rose water. So go ahead and use your setting spray. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna set her face. So now we put some rose water to set her face. Now that we pretty much sprayed our face, we're gonna go back into our MAC. We're gonna go over it. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but this is a key that makes your makeup last. And then we're gonna go on top with more powder. We're gonna go like right here. Top of it. We're gonna go underneath the cheeks again. <laughs> underneath your contour, not the cheeks. And we're gonna kind of press it. You can press it into the actual contour and it's not gonna do anything. It's honestly going to be better because you're not going to have that harsh line on the side. And your makeup will literally last you all day. Let me tell you that. So then we go to the other side. Do the same. It's already cleaned up, but we're just pressing it more to the skin. And sometimes if our contour is a little too harsh, you can always do this and it'll calm it down. But I like how my contour is looking right now. It's doing what it's supposed to do, but it's just buffing out. Won't hurt it either. You reset it again. And that's it. Like literally, that's it. Sprayed her face. I have to go in and touch up my moles because I always touch them up after I'm done setting my actual face. I am a little bit sick. Like last week I was out and about. No, I just kidding. I wasn't out and about. I was with my aunt running errands on Sunday. And there was like it was really windy, but the air quality was not hitting, okay? The air quality wasn't supposed to do what it was supposed to do, and I'm very sensitive in my nose. Like, I always, back home, do you guys remember when, like, all the mountains were burning? I was, like, really sensitive to, um, I would get, like, nasal infections, and I feel like that's what I have right now. And it's kind of annoying because I just feel like my head is clogged. Like, right now it's pretty, but when it's pretty, like, it's pretty hot, okay? Um, so right now the weather's like kind of like cold, hot, cold, hot, but when it's hot, it's hot. And we can't just let our makeup fall off, so we have to set it. This is how I set my makeup. It pretty much lasts me all day long, like I don't have to retouch it or anything. I will be posting on the products I used down below. These are my affordable, semi-affordable. I mix it up, okay? Um, I will be linking the products down below. And for a setting spray, I will put my recommendations down below as well because I use straight up rose water. Like, you don't really have to spend so much money on setting sprays and powders when you can just get, like, affordable stuff. Sometimes the affordable stuff is better than the high-end stuff. So, I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. I've been going through this very spiritual awakening. Guys, I'm ready. Like, I was looking at a picture yesterday that happens. I took around the same month, but last year. And it just so happens that last year, I was trying to figure myself out. Like I was really trying to be like organize my life and be like, I'm leaving this, I'm fixing this, like I have to have better relationships. 
but I lost myself. So just the fact that I saw this picture that I took at the same spot that I took a year ago, I was like, I honestly, I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I was like, God is good. Like, God is really good. Like, I'm wearing jeans, I'm wearing Converse, and I'm wearing just a whatever t-shirt, and then I'm wearing a big, thick sweater. Like, I didn't even know who I was, you know? Like, I'm wearing light makeup. It's okay to wear light makeup, but I was just lost, confused. I was very sad. I was numb. No, I wasn't numb. I was kind of sad because I know how to do it and let go. Like, I was just, I got to trust God on that one, you know? Here we are a year later. Just go, okay?